بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله أستغفره وأستعينه وأستهديه وأعوذ بالله من شر نفسي وسوء عملي وأسأله سبحانه وتعالى أن يرزقنا الرأي الرشيد والقول السديد وأن يجعلنا من أولئك الناصحين المهتدين الذين ينصحون لربهم ولكتابه ولنبيه ولأنفسهم ولعامة المسلمين وعلمائهم وقادة الرأي فيهم فذلك لباب ما أمرنا به لنجعل الحياة طيبة ونكتسب رضا الله تبارك وتعالى بحيث نحيا ما عشنا في هذه الحياة باعتبارها حياة طيبة لا معيشة ضنكة ونحشر يوم القيامة حين نحشر ونحن في لطف من الله وفضل ونعمة ورحمة I would like to start the wise advices which Umama asked me to give you. By this advice coming from very great scholar of this Ummah. He is a Shibli, Yarhamu Allah. Al Shibli studied Islamic study for 35 years. After he becomes a good scholar a great alim. Some people asked him, tell us, Sheikh, what did you get from all of your study during those 35 years? He said, I can summarize that by four sentences. The first one, أُعْبُدِ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِنْ لَمْ تَرَاهُ أَوْ فَإِنْ لَمْ تَرَاهُ فإنه يراك worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى and be closest to him always and feel he is with you he is very close to you if you don't see him he sees you. When you come to worship or to practice any activity, you need to feel that. 
to say inna allaha ma'ana Allah is with me what does that mean? that means you need to be very accurate very dedicated to do whatever you you are doing in the best way regardless that was writing reading building something establishing something always you need to think about Allah and how he is very close to you watching you this is the first one and he told them small story short story saying one sheikh like me was teaching a lot of students he likes very much one of those students and the others were thinking the sheikh has no right to pay all of his attention almost to that guy and look after him uh, while he wasn't dealing with the other students in the same way and they starting blaming saying some rumors about the relationship between that sheikh and that student once the sheikh heard something from them about the story he asked one of his disciples to bring a lot of chicken live chicken and knives he called upon his uh, students and told them I heard something about my relationship with this student and I heard you were wondering why should I respect this student more than the others and pay him more attention than the others now I would like to do something after that we will discuss this, this issue and he called their names one by one take this uh, one of uh, chicken slaughter it in the place which nobody no one can watch you while you are slaughtering that bird and that student was one of those also he gave him the bird and the knife saying the same thing to him and they left after a while all of them came slaughtered their chicken 
except that student. He said, why you didn't slaughter your chicken? He said, my sheikh, you said, I need you to, to, to slaughter the chicken in the place which no one can watch you or see you. And wherever I want, I found Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was seeing me. And you didn't indicate to any exception. With this, I couldn't slaughter my bird. But when he asked the others, someone said, I want to certain cave. Nobody was there. And I slaughtered the magic. Uh, I want to certain place. I want to this, 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 this. He said, look, now my students, all of you, take this lesson. I was teaching you all of the knowledge to help you to have piety, to have strong relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But as you know, you all of you forgot that, except this student. Do you know why I'm uh, trying to respect him, to give him more attention, to help him to grow up, to be a good scholar in the future? This is the first one.